The iPhone dev team has updated their untethered jailbreak for iOS 4.3.3 with Ionics Exploit. This new untethered jailbreak is compatible with all devices except iPad 2. So that includes iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, 1st generation iPad, and iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation running on the newly released iOS 4.3.3. We're going to be using Red Snow since most of us are just looking for a straight jailbreak. If you're also looking to preserve a baseband or jailbreak a Verizon iPhone running on 4.2.8, check the description for more information on using tools like Snowbreeze or Ponage Tool. Step 1. The first thing you need to do is to download 4.3.3 for your device. So download that and save it somewhere on your computer. You can find these links in the description below. Step 2. So now that we have 4.3.3 for your device on your computer, Go ahead and use this file to update or restore to the firmware if you haven't yet. Also don't forget to back up your device just in case anything happens during the jailbreak. Now that your device is running 4.3.3, we're ready for the jailbreak. Step 3. Go ahead and download Red Snow for either Mac or Windows. Extract the file and then open it. If you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, make sure you right click the program and run the application as admin. Or use XP compatibility mode by going into properties, compatibility, and selecting XP compatibility mode. This is the best way to avoid common errors during the jailbreak. Okay, so now that Red Snow is opened, click Browse and point it to the firmware file you've downloaded, the 4.3.3 firmware file you've downloaded for your device earlier. Click that, and then you can press Next. Step 4. Now select Install Cydia and then proceed to click Next again. Step 5. Now before you click Next again, Make sure your device is both turned off and plugged into the computer. Red Snow will now prompt you to enter DFU mode. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter DFU mode. If you mess up, reset your device by holding both the power and home button for 10 seconds and then try again. You should see a white screen followed by a black screen after doing the instructions. Alright, so there you go. Now just wait for your device to be jailbroken and it should restart with Cydia installed. Alright, so if you did it correctly, congratulations, you have jailbroken your iPhone or iOS device. Now, all you have to do is just wait for it to reboot and it should be okay. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you check out my channel for more iOS-related reviews, tips, and tricks. Also, consider subscribing.